We use implicit differentiation when our function doesn't say y equals or f of x equals. You see this function I've written here? Um, I've got x's and y's in it. I, it's not written like y equals, but I still want to take the derivative. So we're going to do the derivative all the ways we've been doing it, except whenever you take the derivative of y, we have to multiply by y prime by the chain rule. Or uh, you might have seen dy over dx, but I'm just going to use y prime. Um, so let's take the derivative of both sides. Now, uh, the derivative of x is 1. Right? We all know that. x times y is a product rule. So I'll take the derivative of x, that's 1, times the second. Product rule says plus. I copy the first function, and then I multiply by the derivative of the second. Now the derivative of y is y prime. Plus, now I take the derivative of y, I just said the derivative of y was y prime, equals the derivative of 10, the derivative of a constant is 0. Now y prime is the answer, that's what I want to solve for algebraically. So I'm going to subtract 1, I'm going to subtract y, that'll give me xy prime plus y prime equals minus 1 minus y. Now everything on the left side has a y, so I can, or sorry, has a y prime, so I can pull out the y prime, make that x plus 1, and now y prime's the answer, so if I divide both sides by x plus 1, I'll have y prime equals this thing, that's the derivative.